Hello dear students, how are you? Today we are going to understand some of the mathematics vocabulary. So the first thing is median in a triangle. So here I have taken a triangle ABC. So what do we mean by median? So median is a line segment which comes from each vertex and it goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. So basically it's a line segment joining vertex and midpoint of the opposite side. So observe here in this triangle ABC what we are going to do is first we are going to find the median from vertex A on BC. So for that tell me what we should do first. Yes you are right we are going to get uh, midpoint of BC. So let us see how we do this. So we see that if you explore the tools in this uh, GeoGebra application there is there are lots of tools which are available and uh, in the tools if you notice you will find a tool called midpoint. So let us see where the midpoint tool is. So keep your eye on midpoint. So you see here there is intersect point, point on the object, attach, turning, roots and then there are line tools, circle tools. Okay. So let us, let us find out where is the midpoint tool. Do you see that? Okay, it's in the construct option over here. Right, so let us pick this midpoint and click on BC. You get D is the midpoint of BC. And similarly, we can have midpoint of AC. Here you see we get E as midpoint of AC and F is the midpoint of the side B, AB. Okay, now we are going to take the segment tool and as per the definition of the median, you see AD is one median. Can you tell me which will be the next one? Very good. It will be BE. And another CF. So how many medians are there in a triangle? Very good. There are three medians and from each vertex we can draw one median. Okay, now observe closely that the three medians of the triangle, they are concurrent. What do we mean by that? It means all three of them, they intersect at a common point. So, we will be taking the intersect point tool. So, you can see where is the intersect point tool now. Let us search. Yes. Here it is in the points toolbar. So click on this and when you click on here, you will see that you get the point G and G is called centroid. I hope it is clear to you. So let me remind. So you see that this AD is median. Another median is CF. The third median is B, E, this point G is called centroid. So in this video, we have learned how many terms? Two terms. Number one, what is the median? Number two, what is the centroid? I hope it is clear to you. Okay, let us move back and now we are going to see the location of centroid in different types of triangles right so for that again we will be taking a triangle say for example now i would be interested in making a an obtuse triangle right 
so for that let us first mark the angles also so you can have this facility in this GeoGebra application that you can measure the angles so let us search where is the angle tool yes it's in the measure tools so click on at this angle and then you see that if we click on BCA we get the angle measurement of uh, angle C then click on the vertex C A B you get angle measurement of angle A then click on A B C you get angle measurement of angle B so with the move tool you can you know move this uh, blue point so these there are three blue points so we say that this software is dynamic so this way you are able to get different types of triangles right so let us first have an acute triangle so here you can see that i have a triangle abc in which each angle at present is less than 90 degrees so this is an acute triangle so we have used the definition of acute triangle now with the midpoint tool we are going to mark you see it's in the cons construct tool option so click on the three sides you get the midpoint and of each side and then using the segment tool we can draw the medians so there are three medians and then we will be marking the point of intersection so you know that how to get the point of intersection so point of intersection is available how do we get it and when we get the point of intersection that it will be the centroid because that is the point where the three medians are intersecting isn't it so you see here that in an acute triangle the point where the three medians are intersecting they lie in the interior of the triangle so you can observe this by you know taking this uh, move tool and try to see every time whenever you get an acute triangle the point of intersection of the three medians is in the interior of the triangle right so if we now try to see uh, what happens when it is an obtuse triangle right so now you tell me what is an obtuse triangle yes you are right obtuse triangle is a triangle in which uh, one angle is uh, more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees okay so here what we can do is we can uh, use this move uh, tool and uh, with the help of that we can uh, move the any of the points a b or c and we can see that uh, where will be this point g which is right now representing the centroid so let us move this now you see that at present angle C is more than uh, 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees so it's an obtuse uh, angle and uh, triangle ABC is an obtuse triangle and we see that in an obtuse triangle also the point G which is representing the centroid is uh, in the interior of the triangle so you see that uh, when you draw any triangle on the plane it divides the plane into three parts okay so one is in interior and uh, another is exterior so this is every everything every point if you mark like this which is uh, outside the boundary of the triangle that's an exterior of the triangle and the third part is the triangle itself right so here you can see that uh, we have taken different points and now the centroid that is point G in the obtuse triangle its location is uh, 
in the interior of the triangle see what happens if we take a right triangle you know that in a right triangle uh, one angle is 90 degrees so let us try to move this and roughly we are getting this here so you see that uh, it is 90 point seven yes right now you see you need to practice this to get this so roughly you see that when it is 90 degrees that means it's a right triangle in that situation also the point g is in the interior of the triangle right so centroid whether it is an acute triangle or an obtuse triangle or a right triangle Every time, if you notice, its location is in the interior of the triangle. So, to conclude, what we have learned today, the definition of a median, how many medians are there in a triangle and uh, the point of concurrency of the medians is uh, called centroid and we have explored that uh, every time you make any time uh, type of uh, triangle the location of uh, centroid is in the interior of the triangle right you will get the write up of uh, all whatever i have said in the description so you can note it down and uh, in my next video i will be sharing with you about another interesting term that is angle bisector and we will be exploring like if we draw the angle bisectors then uh, what is the case in a triangle do we get the point of uh, concurrency if yes then what that point of concurrency is called and then the location of that in different types of triangles i hope you have understood this thank you have a nice day bye bye